Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by to watch our video today. I'm Steve. And I'm April. And today we are going to show you a really cool trick with OpenOffice. Now, if you're an old MS Office user, you may recall that previous versions of MS Office allowed you to do something pretty cool. They allowed you to absolutely customize your toolbar. They'd let you make new ones, they let you customize the heck out of the old ones. Whatever you want to do, you can do it, but newer versions don't do that. Well, OpenOffice does. It lets you go in there, it lets you completely create new toolbars, you can customize the ones that are there, you can rearrange where the icons are, and we're going to show you how to do it right now. April? Okay, uh, let's get started here. Today I've got the OpenOffice Calc uh, program open, your spreadsheets, and you could do this with any of the programs. I just chose this one because I knew there were some buttons in there to move around. Um, what we're going to do today is take a look at our toolbars. We all know about the view menu and toolbars and that there's a whole bunch of them we can use, but every single one of these is set up the way some uh, programmer decided it should be. Maybe you have different ideas. We all arrange our desks so it's most um, effective for us to use. This is part of your desk. So let's take a look at your most basic way to adjust your toolbars. At the um, right side of a toolbar, there is a down arrow. When you click it, there's a small menu. Visible buttons will bring up the entire list of buttons that are associated with that toolbar. If you don't think you're ever going to use a hyperlink, you click on that and the hyperlink button is gone. I'm sure you caught that that shrunk a bit. Um, you can always turn it back on through that same way. So we can remove things very easily um, from this. Now let's say you think something else should be added to this toolbar. That's where we're going to go to customize toolbar. In here you'll go to the customize dialog box. It'll be on the toolbars um, tab. It will automatically start at the toolbar you came from, but you can choose to work with any of them. You can, most basic thing is rearrange. Maybe I think open should be before new. So I, I click on open and move it up twice. And now in my toolbar, open is before the new. Other than that, I can choose to add buttons. I can click the add button, up comes the commands. Uh, in there, there are categories. Many of them match your menus, but not all of them. There are lots of things in here that you can explore. Let's suppose I want to put some editing options that aren't in my standard toolbar, but I would like. For example, here's a delete columns button that I do not have access to up here that would make it very quick to click and it's gone. I would choose that command, click the add button, and I can close. Now it is right below the button I still had selected when I went and did that. So you may have to do some rearranging if you don't think about which one's selected when you go to insert it. But your arrow buttons make that really easy. Um, beyond that, let's talk about completely customized. Maybe the toolbars that are up there, they're nice, but you've got this whole set of commands you want available. You can create your own. You click new, they ask you to title it, um, save it in OpenOffice, the program, in this case Calc. If you do it here, you're going to get it into just a single file, and I don't know why you'd go through the pain of all of this for only a file. Um, maybe you would do it, I guess, if it's going to be transferred to another computer. But at any rate, I'm going to save it to this program, click OK. And I'm back where I started, except now you can see there are absolutely no commands in my toolbar. And I have a very small blank toolbar up at the top. That's mine, ready to be filled. So maybe I want that delete columns in my own toolbar with a delete rows button and a delete contents. Nice little group of ideas. I obviously could add more, but there's three. And I click OK. It created my toolbar. I can choose the visible buttons are only the ones I chose. I can turn them on and off as before. I can always go back to customize, add, delete, rearrange, uh, same as any toolbar they gave you. And in the view menu under toolbars, I'm now there too. So talk about customizing. It doesn't get any better than that. Create your own from scratch. Hey, there you go. Everything you ever wanted to know about how to customize toolbars in OpenOffice but were afraid to ask. So uh, go over to your OpenOffice, give that a try, make your own toolbars, and uh, impress all your friends. 
If you have uh, any questions you'd like to ask April or ask us about computers in general, go to worldstart.com slash ask, and I think we're going to put a link right there for you so you can go take a look at that. If you're not already on our Computer Tips newsletter, make sure you sign up today. There's a lot of good stuff you're going to be missing out if you're, if you're not on that newsletter. So uh, check that out. Check our World Start site out. Check our Facebook page out. You can spend a couple of days over there. All right. Have a good day.